Hello, we are, whoa. Coming in a little light. Also, I might be, okay, good. I am not double audio. All right, hello world. I'm back. It's Tuesday, a few minutes late. A few minutes late, uh, but here nevertheless. Axer Typo is here. Thank you very much, Josh. First in the chat, first in my heart. We're going to be here the next couple of hours playing on PlayScrabble.com. Uh, this is a game that I started against a bot. Oh, because we wanted to make sure that everything is up. The Define bot. Can I draw on screen to show everybody my the inner workings of my mind? Yes, we can. There we go. Hey, Lola. Hey, the J. Quinn. Hey, everybody. Um, thank you all for being here. So I guess what I could do is start playing against this bot. And then, once I'm done, I will be happy to accept uh, challenges from any and everyone. everyone. Um, so this is the Grandmaster computer. And uh, it plays the top scoring play every time. That's pretty good. Finding the top scoring play every turn is definitely a recipe for some level of success. But hopefully my big, my big human brain can do a little bit better than that and show that um, Scrabble is more than just finding the top scoring play every turn. Although finding the top scoring play every turn, like I said, not only is it not only is it going to mean you're a pretty good Scrabble player, it's also not easy to do, right? It's hard. To, it's hard to do that. So that's just one one piece. Um, who? What do you guys? What percentage? I've asked this question before. I have no statistical underpinning or statistical backing for any number in this area, but I'm just curious. What percentage of the time? Do people think the highest scoring play in Scrabble is the best play that you can make? Right? Like, what what is everyone's estimate? And anyone should feel free to make an estimate here. It's not 100. I know it's not 100, and we know it's not zero. It's somewhere in between. But what is the actual number? It's probably quite high. Yeah, it's probably, so Dustin says 90. It's probably high. Right, I would assume it's above 50, maybe. I'm going to assume it's above 50 and less than 100%, but Axer Typo says 64.59045. That is a beautiful estimate. A beautiful estimate. Yeah, so it's definitely high, but that's part of the fun of Scrabble, right? It's coming up with, uh, coming up with situations where the highest scoring play is not the best. Um, that that kind of lights my fire in Scrabble nowadays. Um, okay, I don't see a great way to put a Z here. I don't think this is nor I don't think this is valid in this. First of all, so I might just do something like this. Uh, that seems reasonable here. This is English US once again. So if you're saying, well, why don't you play something here? I can't. Why don't I play something? Well, those would be the main places to play. And why don't I play this, right? Like that looks quite good too. Um. <laughs> oh yes, Scrabble, Scrabble clips. Yeah, Lola, you're right. So hasty, so hasty is a different thing. So, so that's another really interesting question, though, right? That's another really interesting question. So, so Hasty Bot from Woogles is an incredibly strong player. It, very few people. So I am, I am currently when I'm procrastinating and just want to play a bite-sized game, I go to Woogles and I play Hasty Bot in three minute with three minute blitz with one minute overtime. And I am pleased to report right now that I have a series against HastyBot where I am, uh, um, I think I'm like, 
I'm 13 and 15 or something like that in three minute blitz, which makes me very happy because I think that's not that's tough to to have that good of a record. So I'm pleased with myself for that. But it, as you said, Hasty Bot has leaves, and leaves make a big difference. So just score, just score. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Let me just not. Uh, I mean, this is definitely off brand for me to be talking about this to this extent, but let me see. Let me just see real quick. Um, yes. Yeah, 13 and 15. So I've played 28 games and won 13 in three minute blitz in my current series. I would love to, I would love to stay as close as possible to 50%. I think I'm drawing well, so I'm pretty sure that's not going to persist. Um, Okay, let's see. I could potentially just fish my W here and bingo a lot of the time with this leave. This looks pretty good. I don't think I want to tack my P on here just because the P is a nice balance to the rest of the vowels and is not a bad bingo tile on its own. Where else might I play? Where else? Josh says I've been playing six-minute games and getting smoked. Well, um... I could easily imagine. Oh, Dustin says he's watching me play. Oh, thank you. Hopefully, I put on at least a decent show for you. Let's play this. Okay, so I at least have this. Disprove. I have, I think this is a word too. So I have a couple options. The odds of them getting blocked are pretty good. There's also this. So I have a whole bunch of different possibilities here. Also, if I don't if I get all of that stuff blocked, this is this is even just this is really strong. Um, just nip 30 leaving overs overs as I this is one of the things that I actually never knew until I started making my uh, better know a letter videos. Wait, is there a seven in here? I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to play this now. This seems quite good. So we'll do this. Um, oh my God, look at me. Look at me draw here. This is insane. So I've bingoed one, two, three, and a fourth one coming here for sure. I mean, that's coming quick. Um, if nothing else, but I'm sure they're Oh, almost. O-E-A. Almost. Um, so my good play gets blocked, but I'm sure I can come up with something else. Um, but yeah, going back to that original question, like Scrabble, right? Scrabble, complicated game, hard to play well. Um, so far, my bingos have been the only highest scoring plays that were correct. Yeah, so... I don't know. Whatever the percentage is, I'm going to say my estimate, how often is the highest scoring play on every on a given turn correct? I would say, yeah, you know, Josh's estimate, 65. That feels kind of right to me. I might say 70. I might say 70. Garouz wasn't the highest scoring. Did I admit, oh, what I missed there? Let's see if I can come up with what I missed. Uh, something with like H, homager. Yeah, I could have played homager. Oh, overhang. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Um, yep, all, all true. But yeah, I'll say like 60, 68. Well, I kind of... <laughs> I mean, I'm on Twitch after all, don't I? I'll say, you know, 69.420 is the percentage of the time that I think the highest scoring play is correct. That's just a number I'm pulling pulling out of my hoo-ha. Uh, hey, Salem, what's up? Greetings from Barcelona. Right back at you from New Jersey. Uh, all right, let's, uh, I, I definitely have something here. Miss deal, mislead, medials. So if I want to play medials, I can. Do I have something from the D? No. 
I guess I, I don't like putting an S out here. I could come to regret this quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy says, nice, yeah. But then the actual question is, what percentage of the time is the best play the highest equity play? So for anybody that's watching and saying, well, what does that mean, right? What does that mean? So every play in Scrabble has a score. So for example, I just scored 78 points by playing medials. When I did that, there was another component to the play. I know this is going to seem stupid, but another component of the play of medials was that I left zero tiles over for next turn. So the value of the the value of my leftover letters was neutral, zero. For any other play, if I play something, so I wish I could play this, but I can't. It's not valid in this uh, dictionary. That would probably be the right play. I may have to do something like Sulu here. Keeping not a great leave, but I really want to block this S. I do not want to allow the computer another crack at playing something through the S. So even while normally I would consider... Um, exchanging here i think it is definitely worth playing through that s and just end the threat once and for all oh my god look at this austinio emotes that reminds me that i have to get austin as a uh that's an amazing emote oh my god now how do i do this uh setting stream channel probably channel Featured content, auto hosting, auto host lists. Oh, he's on there. Okay, good. So Austin is already there. Um, but uh, yeah, Austin starting streaming. You'd love to see it, frankly. Austin Shin, an amazing player. And uh, it's quite fun to watch stream too, in fact. So anyway... Um, to continue my point about what is equity, I'm sure many of you guys know, but so Sulu, the play that I'm considering, scores 12 points. It also leaves IITU. So if you're trying to quantify the value of this play, it's going to be less than 12 points of value because the IITU combination that I save for next turn is going to drag my average score down for next turn. I'm going to get fewer points than I would on an average turn. And that's the whole point of your leave. You're trying to figure out how well am I setting myself up for next turn. So when we talk about equity of a play, not only are you at taking the score into account, you're taking the value of your leftover letters into account. And that can be used to much more effectively judge the quality of your plays. Um, so if you were a bot that had really accurate values for your leftover tiles, you would, um, did I miss, wait, did I miss? <laughs> oh, are you just, is that, yeah, did, I don't, I didn't think it fit through this eye. Um, but yeah, um, idealism, milady. Is is that like the the doff the fedora? You know. Hello, miladies. Um, fedora guy. We've all seen fedora guy, haven't we? I've I've never. Okay, so that's that's I understand now. That's what actual typo is going for. So at least I was able to pick up on that nuance. Um, all right, computer plays pent for twenty. That's not. Very scary to me. Um, there is a modest problem here of me not having any really good hooks to mop. So mope, four E's remaining, no S's but a blank. So there isn't a ton that I can do about mop there, except uh, except not really worry <laughs> because I'm up by enough points that it's not threatening. So let's see what to actually do here. Um, I mean, this is probably, this would be funny because I just kept this leave. I just kept this leave together. So keeping it again is really not great. It's just not a good combination of letters. I'm sure there's some 
other play that does better for me. Um, <laughs> tiered. <laughs> yeah, that blocks a little. It, I mean, it leaves ED available, but it's certainly a better, a little bit better of a block. But I think I'll, I think I'll throw caution to the wind and play something else. I'll just play fad and leave this horrible leave. I'm drawing quite well to my terrible leave. So something here will do the trick and finish this off if Grandmaster Computer doesn't play there. And once that's finished, I will be happy to accept challenges from people. But yeah, what percentage of the time is the highest scoring play the best play? I would say between 65 and 70%. What percentage of the play, what percentage of the time is the highest equity play the best play and oh right mopey of course mopey too so tiered would have blocked a mopey play like that so maybe maybe i should have uh spent a little energy blocking um didn't think about mopey for whatever reason um but i guess it's um the framing of that question is also somewhat difficult just because I guess what I'm really interested in from a theoretical perspective is what percentage of the time is the highest equity play just a bad play that's going to hurt you to make? That's probably pretty low. I don't know what percentage of the time it's the best play. Maybe like between 85 and 90%. What percentage of the time is the highest equity play a bad play? That's... that. That's interesting to me because that's where you really have to like dig deep and come up with something interesting strategically. When all of the plays that you would want to do because they score well and leave good letters are just not good, you got to come up with something different. Um, I don't know. I'll just do this just because I want to play in that spot. So, yeah, I mean, we, we all would like to think that Scrabble is incredibly complicated, and it is, but the reasons for it being complicated are sort of weirdly distributed, right? So what, what are the Scrabble plays that are the most complicated? Well, the end of the game, before the bag is empty, is incredibly complicated to compute. Uh, but it is, there are, theoretically, a, a low enough number of possibilities when the tile bag starts to dwindle that you could calculate your best moves in certain situations. And those, those probabilistic calculations are unbelievably complex if you really want to do them correct. Um, so the end of a Scrabble game gets really complicated, and then there are some moves towards the beginning or middle of a Scrabble game that get really complicated for positional reasons that go beyond computation. They're complicated for theoretical reasons and strategic reasons. Um, yeah, let Quackle and Macondo run for a week. I mean, the, the, the best thing, and I actually did this. I did this once <laughs> uh, long ago. Um, I took as many Nigel Richards games as I could, and I simmed every single play that he made and came up with estimates for how often does he pick the top simming play. And simulation is another level up of accuracy from just equity, right? So you have top scoring play, totally disregarding the value of your leaf. Then you have equity, which keeps, which factors in the caliber of the letters that you leave to next turn and then you have simulation which goes even one step further and i feel like i think the number that i came up with is that nigel richards picks the top simming play in quackle like 96 percent of the time or something like that so something very striking uh, a very strikingly high percentage of the time um so he picks the top computer play so we're just uh, limping to the end of this game. The board is completely locked down. I don't even see any threat that the computer has to play all of its tiles. Not only that, it has Muntin with another N, three Ns. So uh, I don't really worry too much. Uh, let's see. I will just play. Look at that. I-N-N-N, -N -N, the rack for the computer. Lots of Ns. So Quackle is 96% as good as Nigel. Yeah, I mean, pretty much, right? Like, 
I'm definitely going to give Nigel the benefit of the doubt in most head-to-head situations versus Quackle. So I would say Quackle being 96% as good as Nigel, that feels like the best way to classify that statistic. And that's pretty impressive for Quackle, right? Like, that's pretty amazing. So the nice thing for Quackle is it has it has word knowledge. Quackle is the only entity on planet Earth with word knowledge as good as Nigel. <laughs> Well, that's not true. Any computer. Hastybot also has it. This bot even has word knowledge. Mm, well, it has some it has some holes, <laughs> but it's mostly as good. It's mostly as good. Um, so all right. So we defeat the Grandmaster. But yeah, there's you know, Quackle has word knowledge on par with Nigel. Uh, maybe even better because Nigel is good for one or two transpositions. Like once every couple years, he's gonna play a word he doesn't intend. Uh, like IR or Hyarnet or whatever else. Um, so, yeah. But either way, they're basically equivalent on word knowledge. Um, all right, here's Dustin. Okay. Taking challenge from Dustin here. Anyone that watched the stream last week will remember that I lost my game against Dustin. And we will not talk about how it happened. But... I am going to be a little more on guard. Oh, the, the overtime has come back. So uh, last time, overtime was not a part of the game. Um, but yes, Dustin on a two-game winning streak against both me and Axer Typo on our streams, respectively. So it's up to me. It's up to me to stop him. I can't allow him to win three in a row. This this upstart, this young Scrabble, uh, you know, upstart, come onto the scene and thinks he can push push us around. No, it's actually awesome. It's awesome, and we really thank you, Dustin, for continuing to send send us challenges on stream. Um, love to have you along for the ride, playing and clearly improving by leaps and bounds. Lola says, "When are you playing Attorney Dustin?" Yeah, I mean, you've beaten you've beaten me, a former national champion and a future national champion, Axer Typo, which we all can cross our fingers and hope that that becomes true. Um, and I think it will. But uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay, Wold. <sighs> um. Petronel. Okay, so there is at least something to the L. But what else? I have a bingo to the L. Got to at least imagine in my mind uh, what could I have if there was a D. E? That's not impossible. W? I don't think so. I'm going to say I'm going to say Petronel is very likely to have been my only bingo here. So we're just going to hope. We're going to hope for the best here. <laughs> Jeremy says, beating Will isn't that big of a deal. Yes, not only that. So Jeremy and I, Jeremy, a very active presence in the Scrabble Go community. Uh, we have had a revolving game for quite some time. And uh, yes, Jeremy has beaten me. I would also add, Jeremy, as you know, as you well know, you came very close in our last game, as you said yourself. If you had just had three tiles that let you play out somewhere, you probably would have beaten me or at least given me a scare. So um, you're close. You are close to getting that second win. Uh, I fully expect it to, to come at any moment. It's definitely... Um, there's definitely just the the edge that comes from word knowledge and just seeing all of this, um, <laughs> all this talk about beating people. Sorry about that. Leaky eat a hole. Um, yes. Uh, I'm happy to entertain alternate uh, verbiage nomenclature um, to that. Okay, pride is the play there for Dustin. Um Let's see what to do here. I'm leaning towards this. It scores quite nicely. I have three E's. This gets rid of two of them. Feels like a pretty reasonable choice to me. Uh, could I have something better? 
Peepo. Yeah, so, but wait, is Peepo and Bo Peep both good? What am I thinking of that goes, that only goes one way in NWL? There's a word like that. There's a word that goes only one way that's like that, and I can't remember what it is. Peepo, Bo Peep. Anagram Peepo. Yeah, but there's some other word that I can't think of. All right, beep is beep is a good play here for all kinds of reasons. It gets my three point tiles off. It scores 32. It closes the board down a little bit when I'm going to be up by a solid amount after my next play. So let's do that. And uh, hmm, the three O's is not ideal. So I drew two O's, but. That will be, that's going to basically be my problem to solve next turn is the three O's. So I'm, I'm a big believer in this like pro, ooh, ho, 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 wow, Antifa's, yikes, we're getting political here, folks. Nice play, first of all. Um, I think I'm supposed to play something like Coolest or Ocelots here. Maybe I'll play Ocelots in in uh, in homage to uh, Jaco Music. Jake, if you're out there, we love you, buddy. I might play Ocelots as an homage to Jake. Let's just look at coolest. How does that measure up? 30. 30. I think Ocelots is better anyway if I'm going to play in this spot just because coolest... Coolest has a disadvantage of making this really easy scoring spot right here. A lot of consonants are going to fit in here. I would very much regret it in the, you know, in the rare case that a Z play would fit here with something like buys or something. I would regret that quite a bit. There's also plenty of consonants that fit going across through there or parallel. So I think Ocelot is probably what we want to do. Thank you very much to Sibaba for the follow. I think I have all of our alerts working correctly now. Hopefully. Um, so let's see. Did I get anything here? I'm not sure. Hey there. Nice to see you in the chat. Uh, any cat updates? Yes. So uh, we have not yet heard from the vet about the results of Fitz and his trip and his biopsy that he had. However, I can say that his mood has been really good. I don't know where he is. He's not in here, but I bet he'll make an appearance. And uh, oddly, Fitz is actually now on a medication that I once took myself. <laughs> so Fitz and I are, uh, it's been a many, many years since I took this medication, prednisone. I think many of us have heard of that medication. It's used for a lot of different things to suppress inflammation and that sort of thing. So I, it's been at least 10, 15 years since I took that medicine, but apparently cats take it a little better than humans. And he's um, he has been taking it, and I can tell that his appetite is certainly better immediately. I think his digestion is doing quite a bit better. Lola says, hate it. Yeah, it was... Um, prednisone does a lot of... Uh, it did a lot of good things for me when I was struggling initially with uh, my diagnosis of Crohn's, but it's... Um, Basically, the best the best thing that I can describe that drug is like you have an immune system that's doing things it's not supposed to do. Prednisone is like a big hammer that smashes your immune system into pieces and prevents it from doing all the bad things that it's doing to you, <laughs> pretty much. And all that debris and other stuff, the collateral damage of it, uh, leak into leaks into other areas of your life. And the medicine that I'm on now, where I just get an infusion, I get an IV drip every eight weeks, is like a very gentle little like scalpel that just gets at the exact problem of my immune system and corrects it and makes me feel better by comparison. So either the hammer that smashes your immune system or a little gentle, you know, buff to your immune system. Which which would you choose? 
Uh, but Fitz is doing great. His energy is good. I think he's meowing. I think he's probably going to be bringing a toy up here for me to praise him for. So um, the news is very good on that front, which makes us very happy here. We love that little guy. Hey, hey, Chess Bunzo. Yes. Yeah. Love to Fitz. Uh, Sibaba. Um, this is actually a website. You can get to this website by going to playscrabble.com. Let me just see if this still, this command works. Yeah. Um, so, oh, the, that needs updating. It's now worldwide. So let me just fix that. So play scrabble is in beta tested worldwide. So, um, yeah, it's just a website that you can play on. Um, there are a bunch of different ways to sign up for it. You can just sign up as a guest if you want to check it out, play a few games, and uh, hopefully if you like it, then you can make an account and keep playing. Um, so, all right, I could play Mog. That would be 20 points. The nice thing about Mog here would be that it makes an S hook that I could potentially use with my S. There isn't really a good spot for that otherwise right now. Other than that, something like Mog here is also kind of nice. It keeps things closer. I'm actually trailing the game now after Antifa's. A very nice play by Dustin. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, the links. <laughs> yes, ISC, of course. Yep, ISC is definitely uh, has been the tried and true answer for many years. Um, hoping to, you know, just. I, I myself have played many, many games on ISC, but uh, lots of different options uh, proliferating the <laughs> Jax or Typo, deleting WTF. Uh, one other idea would be to play Mog here if I want an S hook that's a little more annoying to deal with. Maybe it's not that annoying. A play here is pretty good, high scoring, and blocks the play that I would be hoping for. It's also only 17 points compared to this play, which is considerably better for board openness with multiple hooks on the board there. Um, also, am I missing, I haven't really thought about if I'm missing a bingo here yet. i am got to look for bingos. Oh, also, maybe I'm missing a double-double. Let's see. Could there be something in here like metologist, illogist? I don't think so. Um, I could easily be missing something much better than this here, but I will go ahead and play Mog, and let's just see what happens. Ooh, not great. Um, I wonder if I have to play, like, Climber or something here. Maybe. Um, another follow. Thank you very much. Tribe... Tri oh, Tribeca Castle. Okay, I was going to say tri <laughs> Tribe. Okay, whatever. My initial instinct was not correct. Thank you very much to Tribeca Castle for following. I'm glad I corrected myself before I said there was a there was a CA CA combination in there that was not going to come out as well as I wanted, uh, rolling off the tongue. Um, so, all right, let's see. Notable follower, you know who that is. Interesting. Um, well, if that's somebody that also knows who I am, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just play Climber. Let's play Climber. Uh, it puts a C in the triple lane, which is a little scary, but at the same time, I kind of need to continue scoring because Dustin is piling the points on pretty good, actually. So I'm in a little, a little trouble here. Dustin has tempo. He, it means the... Um, you know, the score of the game, in my estimation of what tempo is, I think this is something that there is disagreement on about the definition of tempo. But basically, in a game that is even for most of the time, like one one turn is evening the game, and then the other, other player jumps back ahead, and then player two evens the game again, the player that's one step ahead has tempo in the game. Now, that's that's what I think it is. Um, I'm not sure if people actually agree with that definition or not. Um, but yeah. Um, so 
Oh, oh man, the quack. Look at these. Josh going ham with emotes. Love it. Those are really nice. Um, yeah, I think I have a lot of emote slots open that I need to figure out what I want to do with. So, all right. I could play Oxy here for 32. That's a little bit less scary than usual just because we got FF, BB, and PP. Don't clip. Don't be making fun of me. Don't be making fun of me saying PP. But all the all the scary hooks that would go here are on the board. So if ever there was a time to feel good about playing Oxy and keeping a decent leave, it would be now. The problem, of course, is that I would be blocking my S hook. And I don't know if I want to do that. Um, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Josh likes that, huh? You like the pee, pee jokes. Well, look, I can't really go that much further than that in terms of humor quality. Um, that's not good enough. This uses all my good stuff and leaves me with G-I-O, which is simply not what we want to see. Hey, Best, what's going on? Not very family friendly. Yes. I think this is generally a family fun friendly stream. It was a pretty funny moment. If you guys saw a very brief stream, it was very brief because uh, Austin Shin, the, whose emote was unveiled in the chat earlier, was in the Scrabble Go Community Tournament Finals with uh, another very nice, solid player, Drew Morgan. But Austin is like a champion-level player, and the stream was over pretty quickly before it could start. I'll just play this. Um... And um, the the so Austin played um, <laughs> he played Clitoric to a C in the top of the board. He found yes, indeed, he found it, folks. He found that word, that notoriously elusive word, and that was a little tough because I know that we were streaming that on Facebook too and other stuff. So like at least Twitch is like I don't know. You know, you have the Twitch culture that's a little more, uh, I don't want to say tolerant, but a little raunchier, I guess. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't sure if that, and I wasn't sure how to handle that, frankly. Um, I think I did as best I could. All right. Now, what do I have here? I must... Have I missed, does, does, has anybody seen anything huge that I've missed? I feel like I easily could have missed something pretty pretty huge at any point here. Um, I'm up by five points. This is really not feeling good, though, because, um, because Dustin is going to be up by some decent amount on his next turn. Both blanks are unseen to me, so he could easily just have a blank. Bendy Cable was playing CL and CL Smith. Um, and he tried to had to miss that. Oh, oh man, ouch. Good opportunity to explain what types of words are and aren't allowed in each dictionary. Yeah. So um the difference between English US and the NASPA dictionary is very weird, right? So earlier there was a turn where I tried to play S E Z. Why? Why is that not good? I don't really know but there are a bunch of other words like that that were added like this like was and yes and a few words like this that are not in english us for whatever reason but are in the naspa word list which is otherwise completely identical to merriam webster the naspa word list and the merriam webster list are so close to the same except for a couple of those weird things and i think long words longer than eight letters may be different too then you have English UK, which is the more permissive dictionary by far. There's a lot more stuff in it. And um, all of the words I just wrote are good. And then obviously all of the words that you would see in a typical English US game are valid. And then over and above that, you have a whole bunch more words as well. And then, of course, uh, as anyone that's uh, paid attention to the Scrabble politics of recent months is aware, you know that some of the words that have potentially offensive connotations have um, 
been removed as well. Couldn't play Auda. Okay, so there are the some. There's something about there's something about those like slang-ish colloquial words. Um, says is you can't play them, but you can play them in arena. Oh wow, you can play them in arena even with the the Merriam dictionary. That's so weird. Um, okay, this is interesting. This is a really good leave. If I keep the L, I can't duplicate it. There's no more L's to draw. But every tile I use here could become a blank. And I get four more points. So if I play if I play Gil, I get four more points. My leave becomes slightly less good for bingoing, and I slightly increase my odds of drawing one of the two blanks. Close. Uh, and I see the timer now. I'm aware of it. So I can I can kick into into high gear. Also, there are five minutes of overtime in this game. I'm gonna play Gil here. Because even though the L would improve this as a bingo leave, there's also a lot more consonants than vowels. Most of the consonants are well, that's maybe not true, that they're mostly bingo tiles. There's a fair number of crappy ones. But whatever, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Okay, there you have it. Hard to hard to have a better draw than that. Hard to have a better draw than that. Can also play some swears in arena even though I'm playing NWL. Um yeah, it's interesting. Uh so I would think um Jeremy, if you were so inclined, if ever there were a chance to just play the Collins dictionary even even not even worrying about NWL, you could switch it on in Arena, and that might, I know the repercussions of that, might be that you accidentally try words in NWL play that are not valid, but at least it, at least in Scrabble Go, that's not the worst thing in the world. You could try playing on it, but I totally understand that, you know, that's your dictionary and you want to play the one you're accustomed to. Um, but it might be a pretty low stakes time to try playing the Collins Dictionary, even if you have no ambitions of playing it in the future and would stick with the with the English US in actual Scrabble play, because then you would get a little boost to your arena when every now and then you try a word that's good in Collins and not NWL. Um, but to totally respect, totally respect the, you know, being consistent with what you play also. Uh, okay, so I probably want to play, no. I probably want to play like this here just because there's literally no way that I can give my uh, I can give Dustin a bingo in response, right? Like maybe I would every now and then in a million years, I would give him a nine letter word through FE or AR or something like that. But I would be blocking way more bingos than I'm giving him back just geometrically. There's no there's no real space to bingo off of this. In fact, the board, oh, Doxy is also here. Other than Doxy, there's like the board is just a disaster for bingoing for Dustin. So I feel pretty good about this. Let's play this. Oh, is that what he exchanged? <laughs> okay. This must be what Dustin exchanged. <laughs> so now I don't have a ton of time to try to figure out what the heck to do with this trash. I guess I could do something like this quickly for 26 points and hope and hope to draw the Q. That's a possibility. The Q would turn this into a much more palatable combination. So obviously my time is low. I have to play quickly here. Normally, <laughs> I mean, 26 points is potentially worth taking almost no matter what. The scary thing is... If Dustin uses a lot of tiles, or if he makes some kind of an opening that I will have to address, doing addressing anything and blocking any opening, holding these tiles, is going to be very difficult just because of how poor those letters are. So it could be, now could be the time to exchange. It Again, though, 26 points is probably worth taking and hope that Okay, he plays Van. Yeah, I'm going to do this, and let's just see what we get. All right, an H. 
the H to the rescue might mean that I don't have to exchange now, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. It's not going to be easy to come up with a play that I actually want to make here. Um, what could I do? Yuck. This is a mess. Um, <laughs> I just want to play this again and just continue to hope I draw the Q. <laughs> this is so bad. Can Will hold on? Yes. Thank you very much. I assume that's Josh doing the predictions. Thank you. I, your Josh is a better mod than I am on his streams. Um, but typically during Josh's streams, I'm trying to eat dinner and decompress a little bit. Um, it's been a little while since I managed to raid into Scrabble from my own stream. I wanted to make a habit of doing that just to support this channel, but I just, I just am, I'm totally out of my own streaming habit. I really want to find a way to get back to it and stream on my own channel. I've even been waiting to quackle my uh, Canadian Scrabble Classic games until I can do it on stream, which for me, that's amazing. Like, I, I analyze my games, like, usually the same day that I play them. Like, I can't wait to, to delve into the games, see what I missed, see what I can learn from pretty much every game I play. And it's very, very rare that I would take this long to do it and it's because i want to do it on stream but i just don't i don't know i have my monday code names game i don't want to give that up i have other stuff i want to spend time with my wife it's just all stuff <laughs> you owe us cats at least get permission yeah you know what maybe there can just be a full like a cat interlude or something like that where i'd already like for years and years, I have set aside some time whenever I have it at lunchtime. Um, at lunchtime, I try to play with the cats every day, and it has two positive effects. The first is it tires them out, and they take a nap over the whole course of the afternoon, and I get lots of good work done. The second thing is that I think they love to, they like playing, they love playing. I like playing with my cats because they're funny and they do cute things all the time. So intrinsically, it's fun to play with the cats. It's good for my work if I play with the cats. So maybe I should just stream that. <laughs> stream every day at lunch. I should just stream myself playing with the cats and eating lunch. And that's it. Maybe maybe word game content. Lola says, okay. Lola, Lola uh, countenances that, that plan. Stefan's article about the event was a great read. Yeah, that was insane. That was so crazy. I wonder if I still, do I have that bookmarked or something or copy pasted? No, I don't. Oh my God, that's funny. I have, <laughs> I have the stream key. <laughs> I almost just pasted the stream key into the chat. I was like, oh, I wonder if I still have that article copy-pasted. I almost put the stream key in the chat, which would have been quite a funny situation. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay, so Dustin plays Vaunt. I have to. I had to block uh, that opening for sure. And, of course, look what I draw. Look at this. Unbelievable. Um, only question is, where am I going to bingo? Un oh, there he is. Fitz. Fitz, come here. Come up. Everyone wants to see how you're doing. Everyone wants to see how you're doing. Look at this bushy tail. This is a... You're telling me this is a sickie? Are you telling me this is a an unwell little guy? No way. He's happy. He is so happy. Oh, he's going to bite me. What are you doing there? You want to come up? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This is very normal. I think on previous streams, I've remarked that he his favorite spot is to sit on my mouse pad now, which obviously, you know, oh, be careful. I'm sorry. Too much petting. Too much petting. I know. We're going to have to wait and see what Dustin does here. If, if he tries to open the board for himself, I should be able to do something in response with these beautiful letters. 
Uh, oh, maybe not with the J though, actually. That's kind of nice, but look at the unseen tiles. The unseen tiles are so horrible. Don't bite me, don't bite me. Okay. So with the unseen tiles being this horrible, I just I do have to worry about like QZ draws here. So I kind of want to I I don't want to go too crazy using up all my vowels. There's only one vowel to draw. So how can I like maybe I just want to play like Jin or something and keep two vowels just in case I draw really bad. Um, yeah, will is luck box for sure. Um, I didn't really know like what was the best way of handling that. See, this is where he, he is. He's just on the mouse pad. He's loving. He just really likes it. Jin over Jun because of the Q. I mean, I guess I should play Jun. Jin gives the jink hook back. I, I'm aware of that. But, like, I just wanted more flexibility if I picked the Q. That's all. Like, if I draw QZ, I would probably be happy to still have the U. So humid? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's just wrong. Like, obviously, there's a chance that that play is just incorrect, and I should play Jun, because even if I draw the Q, I should be able to burn it with the blank. And I'll be fine. Or just play QAID. There's many other possibilities. But that was just my my uh, you know quick quick thought there. Dustin, oh, it's doing this thing. Okay, this is a known bug. Hey, Josh, the the timer is actually running on the back end. If I refresh this, it should show it should show the timer running. Yeah. See, so it hits 20 and then it stops, but it's actually running secretly. <laughs> so if you were playing a game with a minute of overtime, it would stop at 20 and just stay there while it's ticking down. So this is a known issue that is being corrected for sure. Um, yeah, so you had that game with Austin where it ended with him having 20. So we looked at that and we were like, let's try to do... <laughs> this is a sneak sneak peek <laughs> you know let's try to duplicate that and see see what that looks like all right what happened there what did he do he passed his turn okay so he passes his turn probably just having no clue with this garbage what he's supposed to do um which makes sense um so i'll just play i'll just do this that can't be correct i'm sure i have to do all kinds of other stuff than that maybe i even had a bingo Whatever. Um, yeah, he says delay my rack. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. In a sick way. As I'm saying, as you guys can see. What was my chat pip? Okay, he plays Za, and I will just play Arg. Self descriptive. Okay, not. Not Dustin's day here on the stream. He played Antifa's, which is a, a pretty impressive play. I would I don't think I would have a chance in hell of anagramming Antifa's unless I had studied it. And Dustin's just playing stuff like that. So a ton of natural ability from Dustin, for sure. But I had the tiles in a big way. Hey, it's best. Uh happy to play best. He's uh English US from him as well. So we'll launch into this game with best an extremely, I don't know if he is the best Babel Royale player. No pun intended, but he sure is freaking good. <laughs> I, I feel like he is, is more or less instant death when I've come across him, though I haven't played too much Babel Royale. I played two Babel Royale games earlier as a procrastination between uh, meetings today. And I won one of them, and I got killed by Tabletop Hot Dish in the other. So that's my Babel Royale update. Um, so good luck to Best as we play our second game of the screen. Dustin says, seen Antifa's recently was fresh on the mind. Um, even so, one, one you know, go-round of that word is still not going to be enough for me. All right, Best playing XU. Very nice, tight opening, hard to make much uh hey off of this 
Definitely tempting for me to just play this and set up my A. This is a really annoying. If if best happens not to have an A, this is going to be a really tough board for him. I guess that's not true. Maybe he'll have a C. He could have a G. He could have a C. He could have an E and go down, but I don't know. Let's see. What could I do that's better than that? Just win? Should I win? Does this really help me? Giving the T-hook back. T-hook to my opponent. Zin takes nothing. Win takes a few hooks too. I don't know. These are close. Obviously, keeping the Z and saving it, saving it for a rainy day could pay huge dividends. But maybe best is is clever enough tactically that like he's not gonna open a spot for me to hammer the Z willy nilly on my next turn. So um, yeah, X U the currency of Vietnam. So this this word comes in super handy in English language Scrabble. You just see it over and over and over again. Definitely one of the most. You okay, Fitz? He's sneezing. Um, I'm going to play this just because it's a few more points, and I have an A to underlap that maybe he doesn't have. Maybe I should have played win instead, but it's probably pretty close. Uh, oh, Bess says good luck. I will return the return the luck wish. Extra typo, would you have played win there, or would you have played something else entirely? Oh, maybe there was some play on top using the A. I don't even know. What else my rack? Zin and this, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. So Dustin says, sadly, you can't play uh here. Yes, that is the legendary opening. Um, that happened in a, uh, Josh, didn't that happen in our sub battle between like Sir Fink and, uh, and Truthmane? They played the, the legendary XUUH. So XUUH is this like as close as Scrabble can get. As close as Scrabble can get to like opening theory, right? There's very, very few uh, openings in Scrabble that you could study to the to the extent that um, to the extent that, that like chess players would study openings. Of course, the study in Scrabble comes from you know the learning all of the words in the dictionary. So there's still not to imply there isn't still a ton, a ton of studying that goes into being, a, uh, you know, a higher level Scrabble player. But, um, yeah, X U U H is one of these really tight openings. There's almost nothing you can play off of it. There are many, many, many racks that you can have once this hits the board where you have no valid plays at all and you have to exchange. Like way more racks than usual become dead after this. If you have a D or if you have an H, right? So if you can have the D or you can, whoa, my eraser is not very, how do I make my eraser bigger on this? Or an H, oh, I made, now I made it thicker, okay. Um, then you can play off of that. Otherwise, it gets tough in a hurry. Um, exactly, Jeremy. Exactly. It becomes really tough. There's not a lot of ways to do it. Um, all right. What to do here? This is kind of... Um, this is kind of tricky. So I have zinc, right? This is definitely feeling like... I should be able to come up with a play here. The problem is something like Chow looks really good from a rack balancing standpoint. I leave ALW, but this is a really nasty spot. There's a lot of bad things that can happen here if I play Chow. So if I play Chow and Best has the J, I get hit massive. If he has the B, the H, the M, the P, the W, the Y, there's just almost... Almost every high point tile that's left is going to hammer that spot. So I kind of feel like if I'm going to play there, oddly, I might want to play Koala. <laughs> and the reason for this is just to put a consonant in this spot next to the scary spot. Even though IW sucks, um, 
Putting an L here makes me feel much better because only a vowel is going to fit in this critical spot right here where all the points are going to come from if you play there. I guess I could play caw too. Maybe this is the way to go because even now, if I play caw, at least this spot is still a little trickier to play to. Still possible to hit a J or some other big tile in that spot, but it's not quite as easy and it wouldn't duplicate, you know, multiple directions. Also, I have Zinko. I think that's good, right? Zinko? Yeah. So there, I would be creating a couple of interesting places to play. So assuming best were to play down here, if I draw some high scoring tile, I respond with Zinko in that tile in this spot and score a boatload of points there too. So a lot of different ways I could go here. Um, I don't really have the best feeling about any of these. I don't feel like I feel like there's anything great. I think that's good in Collins. That might be good, except it has a similar problem with the really high scoring spot. Let's just play Caw because it undoubles my A's. It scores 29 points, gets rid of my W. Let's see what I draw. Okay. Not the not the best rack. Not the best rack. It's uh this is a rack that's not going to score very well, and it's not going to bingo pretty much ever, so that's going to be tough. Um, uh, so Yeah, we'll see. Move to one-third of time used. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm using my time. I'm going through my time pretty, pretty fast. I mean... Yes, I mean, part of it is that I'm, you know, this is a outward facing situation. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know, I would have made these plays quickly. I, I guess, you know, I could play these, I could play in a very different way and just be playing as fast as possible and explain whatever I can in the extra time. Um, okay, Sweat, that scores quite a lot of points. And it closes up the board kind of nicely. There is still a lane here. I think I have to play something like this here. It, just to get rid of all my vowels and to um, score decently and not let best play in this spot, which is still kind of scary. Um, <laughs> Rao Wolfia, yes. Do I have some crazy play here? Probably not. Do I have something here like... Yeah, even that doesn't score as well, right? So I think the I think the idea here is that this will be a really nice and and aioli aioli is definitely a um a very useful Scrabble word for sure. Um, a food word, yummy word, um, but it's uh it's one that is of outsized importance in Scrabble because it consists of the four vowels and one consonant for sure. Yeah, I play only so much, right? So that's like that's another thing that I know we've discussed at at various points on stream. Uh, okay, nice play by best. Just gr dumping two vowels for twenty four points looks pretty good. That's a really good idea there. Um. I might play pet here in honor of this little guy. My pet. Oh, look at that. The stare for the camera. Look at that face. Um, I guess I could, if I wanted to, maybe it's worth playing. Whoop, careful. He's going to get angry if I try to submit my move right now. Yes, I know. I know. I could play this. Scores 28. Puts a D out in the triple. That's going to be pretty hittable for best. It doesn't do a ton for me. Fitz, 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 come on. He's going to let me play my moves here, buddy. Um, and he doesn't go on my lap that much. He just likes sitting right there. I guess another idea would just be to play pet. I don't like how this closes things down so much, but maybe that's fine. I'm not losing by that much. Come on, Fitz. Gotta get you situated here. 
Come here, boy. Come here. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do want to sit on my lap. Can you please stay there, though? Yeah, come on. Just relax. Yeah, just relax. Yes, what do you want to do? Okay, if he can just settle down, that would be huge for me. That would be huge. <laughs> That's funny. Auto mod. Very aggressive. <laughs> Auto mod not having it there. All right. Um, I'm really not loving this. I'm not loving anything here. Maybe, maybe, uh, is that? No, that's definitely not better. I, DT is not the leave that I want to keep here. Um, all right, I have to come up with something that I want to do here. It's either pet or petted, I think. Um, at least the nice thing with petted is I keep an E that I can potentially play something with ED, but best is going to play there every time. So really, my only escape after plays like this is to draw a seven-letter word that plays there. I have to get really lucky. So let's just try. Let's just go for it. Uh-oh. All right. So amazingly, this actually would form an eight-letter word with at least one, I think only one letter. Um, so that's a strange but true fact. Now, let me see what we can do here. All right, so he plays Vein. That looks pretty good. So the N is actually the letter that I would have needed for Gynoecia. Yes, I am sure I'm mispronouncing that. Oh, wait, I have sweaty, though. Oh, man. Oh, this is great. I I didn't even notice that I drew the Y for sweaty. This has to be fine. Now we're going to play play that. So that's a, that is actually a huge stroke of luck to have drawn that Y there. So I didn't get the... I didn't get the blank. I didn't get, you know, a bingo that played with this, but I drew the Y, which was very helpful. And now the board continues to suck, but miraculously, I have the lead thanks to the massive sweaty play. <laughs> sweaty. The massive sweaty play. Um, so, yeah. Um, but uh, now I've got a Q, and we're just going to have to see what I can do with it. I'm trying to set this up so you guys can get updates on the cat, too. This is a common common feature of my normal streams. Let's just see what I can do here. Can I make this work? Where are you, Fitz? Oh, yes. OK. happening here there we go all right let's see what happens when we do this no oh right not that not a window capture But I think it's a video capture device. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we have live updating cat as a feature. So for all those that have missed this level of content from my normal streams, you can have it now. 
Hold on. And only as long as he sits in this precise position on my lap, though. Yeah, but he likes getting scratched. There. Okay, so that's that's good. So now you guys have, there's always should be something cute on screen because we, God knows it's not me. Um, all right. Now I need to, ooh, the mouse pad is compromised here though. Ooh. I think I need to do something different here, but I don't know what. Well, all right, we'll just let this, we'll let this be. What food should I go out to eat? Thai, Chinese, Korean, Korean, or Japanese? I will always say Thai. I, I like Thai food. Um, but I absolutely respect your ability to enjoy all those different cuisines in equal measure. Ooh, now what? Okay, so I was going to just dump my cue there. Yo, yo, yogic and yoga played back to back, by the way. So what do I do with this cue? Man, this board is a disaster. I guess if I do this, there is a decent chance of me drawing a bingo here. There's stuff I can get. What do I hit with this? D, the D, D, D. Uh, Miss Gage, I think is good. Mileage, mileages, seeming, gamines, magpies. Wow, I hit a lot. If I just dump the Q, I hit a lot. Let's go for it. Okay, so there we go. So, like, mirages. Pretty good. Uh, oh, wait. There's stuff through the end smearing. Yeah, probably just here. Um, but, yeah, that leave hit a lot. Play ohm to go, with, to, to go with yoga and yogic, yes. That would be very thematically consistent, for sure, if I were to play ohm here. Ohm. So the cat is being so calm. He's just chilling. He's uh, He has his belly shaved, and he has a little one of his paws are, is shaved like just here pretty much so it looks like he's wearing a glove <laughs> on his like it looks like he's wearing a glove unfortunately you can't you can't see that right now um so yeah i have bingos here if i need to if something gets blocked i can play this too which doesn't seem oh that's not bad actually it doesn't really this i wonder if this looks actually kind of better positionally than this. The reason that I say that is if I play Mirages here, this has a drawback of a G, right? Like I-N-G-S words or something like that are still going to play. But moreover, this E and this S are just wide open to hit. Really easy to play something through the E and S, which are probably the two best bingo tiles in the alphabet. Whereas if I play Gisarm here, it's very difficult to, to parallel the G, right? It's not that flexible for parallels. And there is only the G available to hit. And while ING is definitely a threat, it's nowhere near as bad of a threat as the E and S. So I'm actually leaning towards playing this, all things being equal, just because even though it opens a triple, that's not so bad with the S here. It's going to be very difficult to hit something high through there. Okay, VAC is the play. So that takes that takes my option away. I don't have any choice other than to play this, which I really don't think I want to do after a play like VAC. This play looks like best has good letters and is waiting to pounce. Good letters often include an S. I really don't want to make an easy place for an S hook to go down. So I think I have to play Mirages. Mirages also uh, probably scores similarly well. That scored 68. Does this score 67? That's close enough that I'm going to do this and hope for the best. 
Um, so this is good. I struck with the bingo first. The board remains absolutely awful after this. There are, you know, after my next play, which basically I'm dying to get a play here as soon as I can. If I can just get some parallel play that blocks off the new stuff, that's going to make me feel very good. So in Best's shoes, he's probably thinking to himself, all right, I want to keep this stuff open. I would expect a play down here. The reason being, in his shoes now, down roughly 80, he's going to need to create another threat. So I would expect, unless he has a really nice scoring play here, which he could, or a bingo, I would be trying to play here to create another spot on the board as a threat to me. So, okay, let's see. Oh, there's a standout play for me here. <laughs> okay, so this, we were talking before, oh my God, look at his face. Look at that face. Can you guys see? <laughs> He's looking right at the camera. Um, yeah, it's a little eerie. It's a little eerie, but he's a cute guy. Oh, look at that blink. You know, I, any cat owners can confirm. Is it a thing? Do people know? I've only recently, not well, semi-recently, have I come to understand that if a cat blinks at you slowly, apparently that's like a sign of affection, right? Like slow blink, the slow blink move. So when a cat looks at you and just goes like, Does that mean does that mean love from your cat? And I know it's a big open question of like how much do cats love you compared to like dogs which like unconditionally love you? And I feel like almost any cat ooh, okay, very nice. Counsels. A bingo for best with the first blank. And I don't really feel like I'm likely to have anything great through this. Like, that's not worth playing, not even close compared to Dura. So the, the scary thing about this, obviously, is it creates a very nice counter lane in a couple different spots. But it also scores 38 points and leaves just an N compared to pretty much any other play is going to leave more clunky stuff. I mean, what else here, right? Like, Rid <laughs> for 17 uh if there's a bingo i'm missing somehow honor no that's like these plays are just not good enough so i think i have to do this and just hope that 38 points oh my god look at his eyes now his eyes are like rolled into his head he's just zonked oh that's an eerie expression hey fitz can you just close your eyes all the way there you go, because I think you're going to freak out. You're going to freak out my audience, and we can't have that. We're trying to grow the Scrabble channel, Fitz. Yeah, you sweet boy. Okay, we're gonna, let's play this. Okay, you guys are saying it definitely means love. Good. That's because I always, as a crit, hey, a critter, nice to see you. I, I always do the same. I always blink back. It's just so cute. I have to. I have to. Um, so this is a very risky play. I could easily. So it does put me up by 51. So even if Best gets the other blank and bingos really quickly, I'm not out of the game. And if he doesn't have a bingo, I should be able to maintain some level of control. Does Dura have any alternate spellings? Yes, it does. It's got a boatload. It's got a ton. Yeah. So it's got some weird ones. And the annoying thing about it is that the, the location of the H changes a lot, right? Like Dura, you know? Dura with that spelling and Dura with this spelling. You would think... Like, you would think it would be like this, right? But, well, I don't even want to type it. But you would think it would be, you know, D-H-O-U-R-A. And then it just adds the second R in there. <laughs> so it's, uh, 
Somebody, somebody was asleep at the wheel transliterating that from Arabic to English because I, I don't, I feel like there could have been more efficiency there. <laughs> um, so, you know, condensing some of those possibilities a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm up a lot. I guess I should be happy that Best hasn't played anything yet because if he had a bingo, I would very likely have come down already. The question for me becomes, how do I unload all of these consonants in a helpful way? So this is not a word. This is probably this is probably high on the list of things that I should be playing just because if I do manage to spike an I, I would have the ing combination to respond to, you know, whatever opening best tries to do. Another possibility here is to just play something like this. That's pretty good. The nice thing here is that it doesn't block completely because of Oda. Oda is still possible, but it very, very much restricts the opening that I just made. Again, I made that opening. Okay, so Khan is the play. 12 vowels and 13 consonants. Oh, man, this is really... The crazy thing about bump, too, is that this is the last A. I can't duplicate it, which is really nice, right? Because if you have a vowel or any letter that you can keep, especially a good one like the A, and you know that you cannot duplicate it in the pool, the downside of it is much less, right? Like anytime you keep a letter, you're worried about duplicating it. If you remove that concern, now you're really cooking with gas here with that letter. Um that being said, I still kind of want to play Gamp here. I feel like positionally, this is just far superior. It just makes it so much harder for best to bingo. And I think that's what I need to be doing here. I think I'm going to win almost any game that he does not bingo. So this is like, this is a weird positional choice, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because... It blocks a lot, a lot, a lot of bingos. It blocks a lot of bingos that bump does nothing about. Bump only obstructs this O and leaves this massive, easy place to play a whole bunch of stuff completely untouched. So Gamp feels like it much more effectively addresses the most relevant threat to me on the board. So um, that was, you know, that was a modest sacrifice in terms of it would have been much better value of my leave to next turn to play bump leaving d-a-n-g but i i like i think this play makes the most sense for me to actually win the game best goes overtime which i mean i i'm trying to like in my word gaming career <laughs> You know, when I first started playing Scrabble, I was slow as molasses, trying to come up with all of the strategic reasoning for my plays and all that stuff. Oh, wow. That's very, very nice. Look at that. Yuri Tarek. So that's um, the only saving grace of this play. That's a beautiful play by Best, is that I should have some good way of handling this opening. So I can play Hefe, but I can also play this, which feels like it's a little better because I really want to fill back up with vowels here at any cost. Um, so I'm going to do that. I don't... Either of these expose an E out in space. So I'm not really getting, getting out of that. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Look at these letters. These letters are really good. So it's totally possible, especially if the tile bag, if the tile bag is really vowel heavy, he could easily have something like oriented or orienter through this e, and I would be in trouble. I would be in I would be in serious trouble. Even with this time penalty, I would have a hard time. I guess something like buff will still be pretty good for me, but I just don't have enough vowels. You know, I want to play boffed. Oh, it doesn't like boffed. Is that that's one of these okay, that must be one of those English US words that's not valid that would normally be valid. Um so no boffed for me. 
Okay, he plays redo, and he has orient with an E. Is there anything through an L? That's really the only scary threat here. I don't think so. I think I can play buff relatively safely. I might want to play something not this, but we're just going to do that. Um, just because I'm at least threatening Olden and Loden. If he does happen to block those spots, I should be fine. I can just play Dan or something. So that's, wow, this is close. This is close. Best came one good draw away there. If I think if he had one more consonant that I have on my rack here, I have I have three consonants and one vowel. If he had one more of those and you put a vowel in my place, he could have played oriented or orienter. And that would have been bad, bad news for me. Maybe I still come away with a win somehow there, but it doesn't feel doesn't feel likely. Um Or anything here? Le? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, best is almost certainly yeah noble. I thought about noble. Um, noble leaving duff and doff through the o. Yup, sure enough, retinol is the play, and I just play olden. Um, Realize that nobody's paying attention to the game. Is that because of the cat? Oh, well, now the cat's not on screen. So do I need to, do I need to like return the cat or else people are gonna, are people gonna revolt? There. That's that's as good as I got. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. His eyes rolling as I laugh to be like, "What the hell is he doing?" Um, hey, best. Thanks for the game. Yeah, one one draw away, really, for you if you just had that one last consonant. At the very end, but Yuri Tarek is beautiful. Councils, a number of other very nice plays. So um, this is an interesting game. Deuteric wasn't a word. Deuteric, oh no, that should have accepted. Oh my god. Shoot. That. Deuteric is good. So if that wasn't accepting, then we have yet another issue with the lexicon. So we have to, hold on, let's just see this. The word finder, is it here? So it's here, but this isn't like, I think, hold on, let's just see if like, if boft is here. No, it's not. So we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to. I'll, I will put in to investigate this, but it should be. Yeah, it should be playable. This that would be very difficult to test, obviously, um, to see if that specific word was valid. But either way, uh, sorry about that. If you really did try that, uh, that it wasn't accepted. Um. Oh yeah, bifida. That's still the. Is this, wait, the word finder and the dictionary are two separate things, huh? Okay, it's there. So bifida is here, but it's not, is it here too? No, it's not. Okay, so here's, here is an issue. Here is a, an issue. Okay, maybe a typo, maybe a typo, but still something to, to watch out for for us here. Um, Okay, uh, the queue is open. If anybody out there would like to hop in and play me in a game, happy to play any lexicon, any time setting, let's say 25 minutes or less. If we do a 25-minute game, that's probably going to take us to the end of the stream today, although I did start late, 10 minutes late. So I will continue on until uh, we have another half hour. <laughs> can you move the Scrabble board? It's blocking the cat. Well, we can do this.
Oh, look at that eye. Did you guys see that eye roll back into place? That was pretty good. Um, so, oop, I flipped him by accident. Oh, that's way too small. You guys definitely want bigger than that. Um, so, all right, I'm happy to, I'll play a quick game against uh, the Grandmaster bot. And if anybody wants to send me a challenge, you definitely should feel free to do so. Uh, we'll do it on 15 minutes just so we don't flag the bot. But I'm going to be trying to play as fast as possible. As fast as humanly possible. So let's see. It plays bulls. Um, Burgu. Oh, wait. I don't quite have... I have this, but not the one that uses up the T. Hmm. I might still play that. Sure, let's just play it. Just go quick. Bulls. Anybody? Can anybody think of any good extensions for bulls? <laughs> just kidding. Don't be careful. Don't get auto modded. Stay safe out there, folks. Auto mod is on the prowl, looking for people to ban. Uh, let's see. What would I want to do here? Um. Very unused to the lack of two-letter words, yes. Um, that's pretty good. I bet there's a way to do better here, though. Like, this is maybe just better on leave value alone. Bullseye. <laughs> the extension is a real hit. Yeah, there's actually... I think there's actually a bunch of... Here's yeah, bulls yeah, bulls shot is a totally different thing. But there are several I think auto mod is gonna get the bot in trouble if I try to do this. Yeah, I think auto mod is not gonna stand for that. Um wagerer, okay. Do I have a Z play there? Maybe not. Should I play Zerk here, maybe? That seems pretty... Uh, I guess I would want to play it here. That's a little better. Scoring? Am I missing some better Z spot? I don't think so. Okay, that's a Collins word. Dolente. That doesn't fit anywhere anyway. Uh... Looking, these are good bingo letters. R redolent rondolet doesn't fit. Don't think I have something here. FedEx, okay, so now is this is when I could have played this, but that's not valid here. I think what I will do is play something parallel here maybe. Z, I don't, can't do anything really with that X, I don't think. Mm. I don't think I have a great, oh, this is all right, maybe. D-E-L, all right, that's fine. At least this gives me some points. Uh... Another Collins word. Pretty sure this is a word. Well, I'd have to play it here. Um. Ooh, wow, look at that. Burning the S in the blank, 48 points. That's actually not crazy to do, though. That's not that, in I mean, obviously, using the blank like that is something that a human player that knows a lot, a lot of words would be hard pressed to do. But in this particular situation, it makes kind of sense. Uh, 
That's, I just didn't, I, that might be Collins, actually, as I think about it. There's, I think there's something in there in Collins, but I don't know what. But whatever, let's not think about that. Let's try not to think about Collins and focus instead on the words I can actually play. Try that. Okay, I have a bingo now. Does it really not fit again? Laities. <laughs> Another one. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and a deem too. Uh, <laughs> this is this is torturous because I feel like every turn I've had something in Collins that doesn't quite fit. Um, all right, so what to do then? I'm really close. I don't want to go too crazy fishing off letters, but maybe I have to. Let's see. In a perfect world, I would just dump the I here for a big score. I don't have a great way of doing that. Maybe should I just like that? That doesn't feel that doesn't feel right. Um, maybe I'm supposed to burn my blank here and play like. Maybe I'm supposed to play this here. Thirty one. <laughs> I there is an S here actually. I can still hit this S if I use the S. It's not that crazy just because there is no great S hook on the board. So maybe I'll just do this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Air holes. <laughs> That's lucky. That's lucky. I, I don't know about that S burning thing. I mean, burning the S was pretty good there just because normally the S hook if if there are a lot of good s hooks on the board you would certainly want to keep it but in this in this situation there wasn't a great s hook and cashing the s scored way more than i could normally maybe it's it's close uh obviously i'm way over time if we're considering this to be a 3 minute game which it's you know it's not really uh i will play minnow here I'm I'm not up by enough for comfort here. This is Collins. This is probably what. Oh right, there we go. That's the one I was looking for. That's probably pretty good. Another idea would be to play pupa. Ooh. Okay, a V just wide open there. How scared am I of this V that I would want to block it instead of playing Zupa? I think I will just play Zupa. And if it hits me in there, oh wow, almost reinvade. Mods, play Scrabble.com, devs, fix this. Ah, one more try. No, please. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that'll do. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't even think. That could have been a huge mistake. That could have been a huge mistake. Just because bingoing through these would lose me the game now. So I definitely should have thought a little bit before I played that. I also didn't even look and see if I had any bingos or anything. I just played Quivered instinctively. So that could have been a big mistake. It looks like I'm going to escape just because the computer, yeah, computer's racks are not good enough. But I should have at least, yeah, Filtrata, exactly. Something like that uh, could easily have happened. Um, so I, I needed to be a little more careful than that. But... We escape. We escape. Um, okay, so I'll just play a yin. And we'll go out next turn with something. Not quite this due to LE. How about... Mm, how about this? That seems pretty good. Flat rat. That's what you get after... Yeah, flat rate. I mean, that's, that's not a word. Filtrate and is a word. 
not quite filtrata as best points out um all right computer plays that and we escape with another win okay so uh i didn't i won that game but i didn't really play i was supposed to play this game in less than three minutes on the clock um if anybody else would like to play feel free to send a challenge uh let me just my cord is getting all messed up here because of the torque that I put on it to get this angle. Who indeed is Wanderer15, Sir Fink? We just don't know. But uh, we do have more cat content than usual here. Oh, it's Arlong. Awesome. All right, we can play Arlong. This game will probably take us to the end of the stream. Um, Arlong, who I think challenged last week. Let's dive in. Let's play another one. Um, so, all right. Let's hope he's connected. Okay, looks like he's all good. Yes, cat content. Hold on. We got to get more of his face in front. Well, his face is very much smooshed right now. Um, so maybe just for the time being, like this is the screen cap, not to dox myself too much, but here's what I'm gonna do with this screen. We're just gonna turn it into a cat screen. Oh no, not me again. No one needs me twice. Once is enough. This is what we're looking for. Well, oh, hold on. There we go. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Okay, um, so we can we have that as an update. We can give updates. Um, okay, paid it is the play by Arlong to start the game. I've got two I's and two S's. We like the two S's. Just for the record, this is not a word. Might be tempted to think of that. Um, I certainly feel like something here could be good. I don't love keeping this G. If there was any way that I could realistically get rid of it, I don't think it's worth playing this S here. Uh... Okay, we'll do this. This isn't like my favorite play of all time, but let's try it. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> um, gossips. <laughs> so like, I mean, that's, I don't even know. I mean, so this isn't a word. Um, now with three S's, every S after the first starts to get less and less valuable to you in the short term, right? Like what's the value of an S? The value of an S is that it hooks onto other stuff on the board and lets you pluralize. If you have two, this S is not adding any more ability to pluralize than I already had. And a third, obviously, is even, even more so. So um, I could play, uh, so this is not valid in here. I could play this. <laughs> this is a, this is just, this is an ugly looking play. I don't want to play that. Um, oh my God. It might be what I have to play though. So gossies is not a word. I can tell you that as well. So can't, can't do this. I can't keep all three S's for such a small score. I might have to play something like this. It scores 23 points, which is more than I could get. I still, with almost anything else, I still have an S hook available for my third S. So it's basically, this is going to just be a neon sign to Arlong. Like, woo, woo, he's got another S, right? Like, <laughs> why, why would I play this otherwise? Um, maybe, maybe I should do this. 
I think I would prefer this just because it's not as drop dead obvious that I have another S. It's pretty obvious. But I guess the nice thing about it is that ISS is probably a little better for my multi-turn scoring potential just because I, if I draw high scoring tiles that don't bingo, I still have this spot that hits pretty well. And I can do all kinds of other stuff with my S. It's just very flexible for all different reasons. So maybe I will do this just to try to max out my multi-turn value for this trio of S's. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, there's going to there are definitely eight letter bingos here, but there's not there's not a lot going on with the with sevens here, I don't think. Yeah, ironists, enocytes, noisiest. You can see some ear movement. Very, very subtle ear movement. Oh man, that was a dream. Oh man, folks. Something happening in this dream that you all just saw a very powerful dream in progress for Fitz the Cat. Something very, very interesting occurring in that dream. There's no way to know what that is, but I'm sure everybody saw that quick head movement as he continues to dream. <laughs> Thank you, Best. <laughs> he got three S's in the dream. Yeah, he probably was very excited by that. I'm just glad that he's feeling good, that he's having a nap. Oh, he did something else. It's true, Jeremy. Yes, where better for him to twitch than on this website? As he continues to, he's doing, he's pretty fast asleep. I think he's regarding my, I think he's regarding my voice right now as um, like white noise to ignore. Okay, play a Vug. Uh, doesn't do a ton for me. I have an N, but there's, I have no vowels that go on top of go. So that's going to be. Um, is there like, is this a word? <laughs> goist. Is that, is goist? I think goist is a word, but I actually don't remember for sure. Um, should I do this? Should I do this? Uh, I should do this. There we go. This is probably what I should do. So the issues that I have here are two eyes. I definitely want to use an eye and no great way to score anything. So I think potion is probably a good way to just grab a few points, keep my S's. Do I have some crazy <laughs> position? Yeah, so I could do this. 22, you know, that's probably what, this is probably what a lot of computer engines would play here, frankly. A lot of computer engines would play this. Ironically, the flaw with this play is that it gives very bad position back to my, for, for me, back to my opponent. Good position to my opponent to be able to play to this triple. So uh, I'll play potion. I'll play potion. Uh, okay, what's this? This looks kind of bingo-like, but I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I have just missed. So... I have to think, what will I do here? This 
switching my position. Scrabble Go would have played position there. Yes, absolutely. So Zoe the bot, the Grandmaster bot, would have played position for sure. That's a good indicator. We were talking about that at the outset of the broadcast of like what plays would different bots make that are bad, right? We're trying to figure out how good are the bots compared to a really good human player. And uh, I think there would be a lot of games where a computer player would play position and get hammered off of that N in the triple lane, which there's really... Uh, it is nice to get six extra points, actually. So I'm not going to say it's an obvious mistake. It might have been better for me to play position. A lot depends, again, on you can't play in a vacuum either. You have to think, what are the last plays that my opponent has made? And the last few plays that Arlong has made in this game are Vug, Out, and that was it. Just the last, and paid it to start the game. So his previous two plays were both three tile plays with cruddy letters on them. So the odds of him having four tiles left over on his rack that are getting increasingly strong, right, over the course of the last two turns, pretty good odds, right? It's pretty good odds that he's got four good tiles, not random tiles. Certain we can say that. Okay, buys is the play. So I'm trailing by a fair margin in this game, actually. Interesting to make bots that have play styles of people such as Nigel to play against. Totally. Like that's I think that's all that's all in theory possible. I would just continue to it to insist though. That you know the the actual margin of difference between Quackle, which is the best AI opponent that currently exists, and Nigel is very close, right? Like Nigel is not going to beat Quackle that much more. He will beat it, right? Like Nigel Richards, without question, a better player than Quackle. We all understand this. However, it's not a total like it's not like Stockfish. Right, there's just no the best spot is probably top five, sure. Yeah. I would I would say top five for sure. Um I don't know. It's who who's better than that bot? Nigel. Um probably a couple different people at their peak and you just don't know where they're at. David Eldar, Adam Logan. I don't think I I don't think I have it in me to beat quackle more than it beats me i would need to really up my game to another level of precision that i'm not really at so i'm not gonna put myself there just realistically uh we train against strategy when he was trying to play like a division two player nice yeah, there's so the so bots that play at a lower level are definitely going to be doable for sure. All right, what am I supposed to do here? This is it time to cash another S? I'm trying to come up with a play that's like this would score well, right? If I if I were able to hit, if I were able to do something like that, that would be great. I don't think there is such a play here. I don't think there's a great Bises play either. Fitz is dream. I could feel Fitz dreaming. I really don't want to part with my E here. I've just been so close to bingoing for so long. But maybe I have to. There's like no... certainly hope I'm not missing anything here. It doesn't feel like I am. Yeah, the bots that yeah, the bots that Dustin is describing are definitely things that can be prioritized. Certainly, certainly I am well, not to reveal too much, but I can say that like the logic for having bots that play a ton of parallel plays, a ton of hooks um don't play any bingos and play a, as many scoring spot plays as possible those are all possible um using current logic that i am aware of all right whatever let's just do this um 
Okay, there is a seven letter word in here that doesn't play. It maybe will play after Arlong's next play if he happens to open the board. Brissant. Um, I could have not used the S there, but I wanted to maximize my chance of drawing more balanced sleeve. Oh, did he exchange? Yes, he did. We are aware of the issue with not seeing the um, number of tiles exchanged, which definitely makes a difference. Would want to know that information for sure. <sighs> mm, I guess I'm supposed to do that. That This looks pretty good. Oh, did I have a play like that last turn? <laughs> I didn't even think about it now. Uh, either way, I want to use my B here for sure. I don't think I have anywhere to play Brissant. And this leave is very strong. If I draw an E, it's bingoing for sure. So let's hope we draw. Oh, I fits. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Not quite. Not quite. Double double R, double T, not what we'd love to see. That's okay. We have some possibility of getting out of this. Um, it's like, no, there's like nothing here. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but that's right. <laughs> Oh, Bravi. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think keeping AIRTS with this lane open feels pretty good. Um, but Bravi does score a little better. Could see. Could see it. Um, obviously, this is not a great lane. There's plenty of things I could draw that don't play there. But at least RTS fits there. Anything that starts with those letters. And then I have this clearly as my other. S hook. Um, yes, when I draw this, yeah, when I draw this. Yeah, if homie drops a spare O, also I could get an E, but of course the worry is that if Arlong is making any play that puts those letters out in space, it's almost certainly because he's bingoing, which is not really what we want. Oh boy. Nice, he's caught me. He's caught me off guard. The O, I don't have an O for this spot, nor do I have even really a single usable hook other than the S for this spot. So uh, that's not great. Um, kind of want to play this to set my S up. <laughs> this is, I mean. You could do this with another O, setting it up easily. This blocks it and makes my S really powerful at a, at a cost of creating a really big scoring spot here. So this is a really, this is a really interesting situation, actually. Um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a funny, this is a funny one. Um... Uh, I mean, probably, probably a stir is maybe the most logical thing that I'm supposed to play. I think I hate this because I've been biding my time for so long with these S's and to cash it like this, but this at least has the benefit of doesn't really give anything back. It just so often I just get hit with an open play and then I'm trailing by a lot without good bingo tiles on a horrible board. So, <laughs> the real question is like, how how much credit do I give Arlong for having another O here? If I feel like he's got it pretty much every time he plays this, and I don't know, I mean, he doesn't have to. There's nowhere else to score. There's four O's left. That's not a huge amount. There's nowhere else to do anything. So he may have played pod just because it's the only way to get any decent number of points. Uh, <laughs> exchange the R and help to play strategy. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, well, let's see. I mean, is it really that easy to hit this? Like, you can, you could get an F, a C, F and C, F, C, maybe W. That's like, this isn't that horrible. If you don't have F, C, W, it's going to be hard to hit this spot for a massive, massive score. I think I'm going to play this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> Asteria Atresia. Uh, Ariste. So I literally managed to draw. <laughs> That's a funny draw. That's a funny draw. Because I drew a rack that has a bunch of bingos and none of them fit <laughs> on the board. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. So I guess I guess my out, my bailout here is that I made this play, and now maybe Arlong has to play here because it's just the best scoring spot, unless he has a two-tile play here. He might just plop something here, which screws me over pretty good. Um... But if he plays through here, my odds of having a bingo that fit on top are decent, depending on, I mean, there's plenty of stuff that would let me do that. Um, but other than that, I managed to draw a rack. Um, <laughs> I managed to draw a rack that doesn't bingo anywhere. So we'll have to see. ER for two. Yeah, that makes sense. That fits, that, that hits enough and exposes very little. So again, I mean, I just, uh, I guess it, it, uh, it does depend a lot about like if, if I'm playing, I don't know, there's definitely people who, if they're playing pod, I'm going to give them credit for the O a ton of the time. I don't really know. I don't have a read on, uh, our long on Aaron enough to know, like, is that something he would do without an O? There are certain people where I would just give them credit for having the O. And then there's the Joshes of the world who are going to do that, expecting me to fuck up. Excuse me. Expecting me, to <laughs> expecting me to mess up. I'm so sorry. Family, families, children watching, I apologize. Um, here, enjoy this cat. Enjoy this cat. This is wholesome. His foot is here too, as you can see. That's kind of cute. It's a paw. All right, let's just see. Uh, we're still waiting. This is a very complicated position, so still waiting to see what's gonna happen. Oh, I have a voicemail on my phone. I wonder what that is. Uh, well. I'll be dead. As soon as we're done with this game, I'll get to, I'll get to stuff. Yes, this is a cute cat. We we love Fitster. We love Fitz. Um, for those that still have the Fitz emote, see, there we go. Okay, so this is basically... What do I want to do here? Probably just that. So that, that was lucky, obviously. Ooh, what happened? Oh, hey, it's Gertie. Thank you very much. Oh, man, I thought I fixed the frigging sub. It, you, It's too small. I was, I was, uh, I was, that was why I was late to today's stream was I was trying to fix that. And I thought I fixed it. And then it's super, super small. I'll have to look at it later. Uh, but thank you very much, Gertie, for the two months at tier one. Nice to see you. Uh, we are at the tail end of this stream. This is definitely the last game. I started 10 minutes late. We are into the two plus hour mark of streaming. Um, and we're playing Arlong in the final game. We had a couple interesting moves there. Now I there's really no room for comfort here because after this, I have now set up a spot that I am going to have to worry about uh, not necessarily for the entire rest of the game because this spot will be a decent, that would be, uh, you know, a decent spot to play. Okay, Inferno's very nice. That is a good play. So that used the first blank and uh, 
Don't really have a great way of hitting this triple either. So I'm going to have another kind of tricky situation on my hands here where I <laughs> don't I don't think I'm going to have a play that makes me feel very good with all of these all these consonants here. Um I guess that's worth playing and just hope I draw the S. I mean, this sucks, but I mean it at least it's 30 points. I can't play it lound. Hunk, hook. Okay, we just gotta play something here. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so we drew we drew an S. The last S. That is a luck box situation for me. Oh boy. Oh, that's very cute. That's very very cute. His tail looks like a lemur. It really looks, he looks like a lemur. Oop, hold on. Play of aim comes in. Okay. Um. This is probably worth it. Scores 44, or maybe the S is so powerful now that I need to, I need to keep it. The S is so strong now. Oh my god. I just don't have enough time to think this through. If I were playing a higher time control, yeah, I mean, I would potentially. Um, there are definitely situations where it's important to sort of understand the actual math of, of working that out. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do this and try to close this next turn. I'm going to try to close... Okay, I mean... What can you say? I'm drawing good. I drew the S and the blank right after I needed them. No question. Uh, yeah, Killis is not... Yeah, I could not play Killis here. This is US English, unfortunately. Um, Killas. <laughs> oh, right, right, yes. Um, yeah, it makes sense that that would... Oh, I can't play Goodwill. That's too bad. That would be great if I could. All right, I have very little time left. I got to figure something out here. I want to play Wool. I don't think I really can. I could just do that. Let's just do that. I have Oil Hole. Whoop, a gifted sub. Oh, hold on. We have to thank you very much, Gertie, with the gifted sub for a critter. I think what we need to do is take Fitz and put him under the widgets. Yeah, okay. So now the widgets should show up on top of the cat, which that is probably the single worst thing that I could do to inspire donations. Um, to to cause donations to obstruct the view of this cat. He's so cute. I'm just glad that people are not tuning me out the way he is. Thank you very much to everybody watching. Um, <laughs> he's, he's tuned me out pretty good. Um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying hanging out for a couple hours playing some Scrabble. Um, glory, oh, not, oh, no, it doesn't fit. There we go. <laughs> See, so now the, now it pops up over the cat. Thank you to 0% Sneaky. Everybody, uh, everybody can get angry. Yeah, 0% Sneaky says, now my name can appear next to cat. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's. Maybe if I have it be like adjacent. Ooh, look at that. Queuing. Okay. Um, what do I do here? I have no idea. This can't be right, but I just have no time. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. 
What am I even doing here? I just need to, like, I need to get a play that lets me burn my blank here as soon as possible. What is it? Something with S. Loxies. Oxellus. Yeah, I'm really tempting fate here to just not be like just scoring a ton of points and just winning with a hounds play that doesn't put an easy letter to reparallel. That's all I really need. Just put a letter, just play a six letter word ending in a blank S that lets that makes it very difficult to come back with another seven. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> Lola says, I haven't had a word, word you've said. Yes. Whatever works. We aim to please. I guess I'm going to play this next. It's, I mean, this is a really, this spot benefits me greatly. So maybe I need to chill and just realize that it's kind of tough to block this for him. There's no S's or blanks left. I am sitting on the gold mine here. And I can just chill and wait for a chance to use it pretty much. Um, ant, I mean, maybe there's ant plays to worry about. The Q is still lurking that I have to worry about. Okay, so the time penalty thing, we're just going to refresh. And it's going to be right. I don't know why 20 seconds happens to be the magic time that freezes on the uh, actual timer. But if you just refresh the browser, it starts to look correct again. So, yeah, Arlong, this is a, this is a very tough position for sure. I'm sure I've misplayed a bunch of these moves just to try to not go over time. But... Um, yeah, there's th these moves have been hard. Yes, <laughs> yeah. But all I could say is that that bug in particular is a known a known bug for sure. Um, so, oop. Uh oh, Arlong disconnected. Hopefully, or hopefully that's not me. Yeah, it says he is. This is certainly this is certainly a tough situation. I'm not sure why it's giving that message, but yeah. Uh oh, five, four, three, no, Aaron. Need to refresh. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, um, yeah. The the for whatever reason the disconnect. Flow start on my screen it says you just played on oh okay yeah there's something there's something screwy happening when overtime starts um so sorry about that obviously that should not be required for you to refresh uh in order to see the end of the game there um so, yeah, that was an interesting game. It was uh, could have could have gone either way. I think I was in good shape though with that blank ready to play there. So if ever there was any consolation, that would be it. So here's here's a post game cat to tide you all over. Um, yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to stand up. So, oh, that's good. That's good. My cheek. My cheek. So for all those that have been uh, lusting after cat cam for quite some time, hopefully this gives you a little bit and you can get a little glimpse of, uh, of Fitz feeling better. He's happy. He's been playful. He's taking a nap right now, but he's doing good. Oh, Arlong says he's trying to hook Eon and the game is saying not. Okay. Yeah, that's so weird. Hey, um, do you have do you have that up on your screen? If you if you can uh, you can direct message me on Twitch or Discord. Um, Wr Anderson one on Discord. If you have a screenshot of that, that would be really helpful, actually, um, to just see what you were seeing visually. If not, that's fine. I will have us look at this game 
from your end and see what was happening. Um, so anyway, uh, it's been our two hours here. Uh, so I think what we will do is call it a stream. Thank you guys very much, everybody who sent game requests and hung out for a bit. Let's see if anybody is doing anything word related on Twitch and we can send some people over if anybody is doing crosswords or Wordle 380. 380 viewers of Wordle right now. What about nobody streaming Babel Royale? Crosswords. Uh who's this? <laughs> Okay. Um, F Inc is stream. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, we can stream F Inc, who has been streaming some Scrabble lately. I actually like what he's done with his uh, Raid Wanderer fifteen. Yeah, no, no. I at some point I swear I want to start streaming more, but we'll raid F Inc because he's playing some Scrabble now as well, and we can uh, show him some love as he does that. Um, so am I not, I thought I was following I think. Oh, that's funny. My cat is on the thumbnail for uh, the Scrabble category right now. So, um, oh yeah, I should be follow. Oh, I guess I wasn't followed. Um, all right, so we're going to watch some more Scrabble. I think a very pleasant guy. He's played some Babel Royale. He's played some Scrabble. Um, and uh, that's going to do it for me today. So once again, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'm thinking, I believe, there should be no issues with uh, Axer Typo coming to the channel once again in his normal Thursday spot. <laughs> Thank you, Gurchy. I'm doing well. How is Wanderer15? I'm doing very well. I had a nice stream today. I'm very, I feel the good vibes from everybody uh and uh good vibes from my cat so all good over here so with that let's uh oh he's looking up words whatever he, whatever it works for now at some point we'll have rated and unrated and he can play unrated and do that so okay thanks again everybody catch you later let's say hi to effing now